everyone, Amanda here from scrimpymommy.co.uk and this little sheet of paper here, and one of the mini grid papers is covering a small pile of crafty projects I've been doing as part of my 31 days of craft. Now as I said right at the beginning of the challenge, you didn't need to show all projects every single day and that was a bit of a get out clause for myself as well because I can't um, film or share every single day at the moment and so I've been collecting them together and showing them in batches so I have how many projects have I got here one two three four five different projects to share with you here I just want to share which set I've been using and it's the little ladybug set it's, it's, I love it, and it is part of the celebration promotion. And um, I'll just do a little plug before we start, and then I'll show you what I've made. And basically, if you um, order £250 worth during celebration, you get this for free. So, if you spent £250 during celebration, that would entitle you to five freebies out of this catalogue which is the celebration goodies so out of here lots to choose from if you spent 250 pounds you could have five free items out of here and you would also get this for completely free and on top of that you'd also get 25 pounds worth of stamping rewards so you know if you're shopping during celebration it is better to do um, your shopping in bulk that is the best way to save Right, so I'll show you what I've done now. So look how cute this, this set is. We've got the cute little, they call them ladybugs. Now that's Americanism, because in England we call them ladybirds. Okay? I don't know why, but they're called ladybirds, and I think it's because they fly. Um, and I love them, and I think that when you see them, it's quite lucky. There used to be loads of them when I was a kid, and now you don't see them as much. So let me show you what I've been making. So the first thing I made was a little post-it note holder. Uh, just to hold some little post-it notes, but how cute is that? And I've used the lovely lipstick um, cardstock on top of white, and I've coloured one of the little ladybugs there, or ladybirds as we call it, and then I've coloured her in, um, although lady, ladybirds are typically depicted as male for some reason. I've coloured it in <laughs> uh, with my blends, my stamping blends, and I've used the lovely lipstick so it all coordinates. Super cute. And then I've, I have trimmed around and fussy cut it with my good old stamping snips, which are perfect for fussy cutting with that lovely sharp points and the nice thin blades, okay? But there will be some dyes coming for this set as well, I do believe. And um, that is to follow shortly. I will announce that when those are due out. So all I've done is just made a little belly band there. And this is just a simple flip open with some post-it notes in. Just a quick little gift. Really super idea. Okay. Um, I don't think I need to do a tutorial on that, do I, surely? I think you can figure that out. It's super easy. But I've just scored the width of the post-it notes. And then, you know, they're like, they're three by three ones. So you just figure it's not difficult and then whenever I'm doing a belly band I literally get a, a strip of paper and I will wrap it around um, and then I will fold it rather than trying to do score lines that way that is how I find I get a nice snug fit little tip for you so that's one project and then another project I made are these little lady bird um, pigs Alright, so these started life. They are actually quite pretty before I start and I get these from the pound shop, my local pound shop, alright. I think you get probably about, I think you get 20 for a pound and they've got these quite pretty stickers on but they're a bit uh, plasticky and horrible so I, I tend to take those off and then what I've done is I've covered it with black cardstock. Okay, and then I've uh, fussy cut out some more stamped images, coloured them with my blends, and then what I have done um, to make them a little bit more sturdy and more durable, I do use, have I got it here, this, uh, which is an acrylic wax. Okay, um, and you put that over your images, it'll stop any of those colours bleeding, which none of them would have because it's a, a alcohol ink anyway, but it also gives it a, a kind of a, a very subtle glaze 
uh, and it protects it as well so if you splashed any water on it it protect the card just makes it a bit more durable so that's project number two now obviously I would probably do um, a set of four of those um, but there's just two to show you so that's two projects all right and then I've done good old note cards you can't go wrong with note cards I love them three by three note cards um, they're really fun and easy to make the great to gift they're great to sell at your craft fairs and they're nice quick and easy to make and frugal on your supplies so you just come up with one design and then you replicate it really super easy to make the envelopes if you've got the envelope punch board you could probably pre-buy the small envelopes as well um, and so there we've got the stamped image there that I have coloured I've punched out on which punches did I use? I used the two inch circle punch and then I've used the starburst punch because they layer on top of each other on top of each other I've just had my dinner and it's repeating on my sorry I'm hiccuping <laughs> so there obviously I've used whisper white and lovely lipstick cardstock to do those so that's a, a nice set of four so that's another project and then I've done two cards which are loosely based if I show you again um, well, one of them is based on this sample in the Celebration mini catalogue. Um, so it is based on that one with the um, trimmed um, green cardstock there to look like grass. And then the stamped background there. So I'll show you what I've done. I've done mine in different colours. Mine's in this beautiful, I think it's Daffodil Delight. Alright. And I've got a small strip of the best dressed DSP there, Oop, that's a stamping dimensional backing, get off stitched edge circle, I've stamped the background with the small stamp here which is like a, a row of ladybirds all right and then again I've colored and cut out two of the cute little images you can see the nice and 3D there popped up on dimensionals and then we've got this fringed grass effect there all right so that's project four for today and then project five is the one that you've seen in the thumbnail and i just think this is lovely and um, this is is it based on that one it's very loosely based on the one in the in the leaflet there um with the ladybird flying over the flower um however I've, i have changed mine up slightly and um, i've used my stamping blends and i've colored that in with pumpkin pie and daffodil delight and then we've got the embossed falling leaves at the back there and then i've splattered the background with most with the pumpkin pie stamping blends and we've got the little ladybird there peeping out from the bottom and one flying at the top and then the sentiment there says spread your wings and fly all right so that is five so from the one stamp set there i have done five projects and um, I love showing the versatility. You can make all sorts of things with just one stamp set. <coughs> so there we go. I'll leave that with you. And I'll probably be back tomorrow chasing my 31 days of craft challenge. And trying to get it finished. And then I will be um, announcing the winner for my little giveaway. Thanks for watching. Give these a try. See you soon. Bye.